Very important meaning is we are commemorating the Buddha's birthday. And when we go to talk the Buddha's birthday, we have to understand the same month Buddha was born and also the fully enlightened month happened, became a Buddha. And also he passed away the same month. We are commemorating all the time in month of May, three in one day. Buddha was very special character and uh, he was born in Gangan under the tree and enlightenment under the tree and passed away under the tree. He born as a human being, he lived as a human being, he passed away as a human being. He didn't use the word of God. He always appeared as a normal person. That is the very important thing from the we can learn from the Buddha. Buddhist era is today is a 2566 Christian era. We know 2022. The big gap, big difference is there. The 544 years, we can see the difference. So Buddhism is started 544 years before the Christianity. And then 544 is a big difference. So it is among other religious leaders, religious teachers, we know a lot of religions in the world. But when we go to count the religions, we don't count Buddhism as a religion. Why? Main reason is that all the religions is center is God. God is the creator. God is the final definition, final destination. Where you go, hell or hell, everything is decided by judgment by God. Death to birth, everything. But Buddhism, not in that list. Why? The Buddhism is center is man. Buddhism is founded by a person like me and you. And also the difference is in the Buddhism and other religions one of big difference. For example, if you go to the Christianity, Jesus is the God for them. But he's the one person. The, 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 the second person cannot be, another second person cannot be happy as a Jesus. No more. But Buddha is a noun, like a PhD. Anybody can achieve who follow the way. Who follow the path, he can achieve to the Buddha. Buddha is a place you can achieve without any color, without any nation, whatever, regardless, you can achieve the point if you follow the way. If you don't follow the way, you cannot achieve the Buddhahood. Therefore, it is no any kind of restriction to Anybody can achieve who far. Therefore, is a white or black or is no matter where you get, where you follow. It is it is stay say in the middle way, eightfold path. Very simple. We start from five precepts. Five precepts. It is like the ten command or something. We have Islam have five principles. We have five only start for five. Abstaining from killing. Very simple. Abstaining from stealing, abstaining from sexual misconduct, abstaining from lying, 
abstaining from drugs and liquor. Fine, start from that, then go ahead. Buddhism is like the ocean. We can step on the ocean when you go to the ocean, you can keep the water, your leg. But still you can, if you want to go to the deep, 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 we can go start from five percent, we can go under the deep. It is ending by fully enlightenment, it is staying nirvana. Nirvana meaning is no rebirth again. That is the way we are teaching. And only Buddhism is the religion. We are using the religion world when we go to talk. Buddhism is the only religion we are teaching to the people. The how to make happiness with emptiness. Who like it? People don't like to make happiness with emptiness. People all over the world, they like happy. Collect everything, many, 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 as much as collect, that is the happiness. If you ask the people, that is the, we'll get not happy yet, no? The last um, uh, president in uh, uh, the America, he was not happy. What they missing for them? They have everything. But they are missing the happiness. Happiness cannot make by this wealth development. Happiness is not the real this. We know our Tanzania also lost big, big people. Yeah. What they have taken finally? Nothing. Everything they collected, it is here. But unfortunately, I am sorry about that. They collected billions of dollars. But they left like an empty people. Finally, next life will be maybe dog or somebody else. Setani, Polesana. They are going to come back here again, take a cobra, or maybe big cobra, they are protecting their properties. So, so we have to learn how to maintain our life within this eight years or something. That is that we are teaching to people how to make happiness with empty. That is the teaching we do through meditation. Therefore, we are unhappy in Tanzania. So, 1998, so I came here. It was no sign of Buddhism here. We have temple in Upanga, you know, 100 years we celebrated December. But no sign of Buddhism in Africa, in the world, until I come to Africa, 1998. After I come to Africa, Tanzania, I am the one who prayed the all people to open the place, come and we, <coughs> personally, I started together with other religious leaders, 1999 we started <coughs> interfaith community in Tanzania. Now it is very wonderfully going on. That is our work. So we are here for, so that. So I am very happy, Tanzania. After going around the world, more than 60 countries, I selected to be Tanzanian. I got in a nationality Tanzania 2014. So why I got this Tanzanian citizen? Because among the countries which I travel, Tanzania is a peaceful country. And also, Tanzania, the Majority, the Christian and Muslim, there, this, there is no secret. Half of them, half of them, we are Hindus and we are very minority. But this Christianity, this Muslim, they welcome us, including government leaders, nicely. When I apply my application to Uraya nationality, is one of the two of the biggest bishop and in the Sheikh the signing Amani, peace for behalf of uh, they are the one requesting to be the Tanzanian, to be the Panna Sekara, signed by what Christian and what Muslim, what happened like this. So therefore, we love Africa, we love Tanzania, therefore we united as much as other Buddhist group to come. You see now, this event, otherwise before you remember I have to alone work, I didn't do anything here in this regard, this today person I am telling the truth. 
This everything is done by this tiny chief monk and this tiny followers together. They did everything what is necessary. I came day before yesterday. Just I am also like a visitor now here. But uh, I am very really thankful very much for tiny uh, master and the other followers. They do very wonderful. Very wonderful this event. It's uh, commemorating about Buddha birthday. So the, I'm not going to take it a long time to speak. I have to talk a lot because my experience is about 23 years. And uh, because I have just the five minutes, because if we didn't follow the prime timetable, we cannot finish by six o'clock something according to our timing. So therefore, so the I'm happy here that we have some representative from the interfaith and uh, because others are not being invited but today unfortunately suddenly happened in the special function happening in the Goodyear's near area conference hall. So I also invited. I got my invitation, everything to attend that. So two o'clock enter, three o'clock start by President of Tanzania. The, the Tanzania film the launching today. I am the one of the special guests for there, but I didn't go there because I cannot go. This is the my my meeting. So therefore, our government leaders, other religious leaders, most of them today didn't come, <coughs> but only few of them there. <coughs> but later we can have a speech behalf of. Uh, <coughs> In the indigenous leaders and government representative. So Amar Samit Khan is here and I request her to come here because otherwise we lost all. So she was uh, <coughs> the, some of the, the one of the retired member of parliament and the minister of member of parliament, she has another agenda to speak and she is covering that uh, gap of our indigenous leaders and others. She made this speak for us, for the representative from government and others. So for therefore, I welcome my special visitors. Uh, later, Mama, you have a speech later. And uh, I introduce you the, here our special visitor, the Mama Asanali here. She is running our nursery school and uh, the Buddhist temple. And we have the Buddhist uh, Baha'i representative, Mr. Tulsi and my wife and also Mama Samin Khan and Mr. Prayun is there from Thai community, represented you and other African Buddhists also, lot we have behind life. So therefore all of you are welcoming uh, because I invited you to come. And also I thank you very much also for our dance group, with the Indian dance group, here is the first one they perform. And in the next perform again they will the Sri Lanka song. We have of Sri Lanka group and uh, the second song also they are hearing. They also, I thank you very much for them also to do that special uh, blessing for this event. And uh, we, every year, we do this ceremony, uh, Buddha birthday ceremony. And last years we did the Buddhist temple of Upanga. We did the Chinese uh, temple in Mikocheni and this time, master and discuss with me, uh, he wanted to do the very wonderful place. He, the one selected, is wonderful because we have one Bodhi tree, three Bodhi trees in the historical tree. One in the Buddhist temple, Upanga, one in the museum in the outside, one is in the Italian ambassador's uh, residence. So these same three things in the planted by 1920 brought from Sri Lanka, the British colonization time. All are 100 years old. And this is museum place, also very historical Buddhist place. And he selected the very wonderful place. And uh, so therefore, I myself, I stopped here. Thank you very much for attending and arranging the things. My big thanks for the Chinese uh, Grand Master. His uh, wonderful time and arrangement in everything. This is the first beginning of the Buddha birthday big ceremony. You know Chinese and Taiwan, Vietnam and Thailand, when they go to do, not like this, thousands of people, millions of them. But this is the very significant. Later we can see many, many things because they came to also my invitation.
to do something to the African community, Tanzania community. We have a lot of Buddhist communities now supporting to Tanzania. Recently we opened this Tanzanite bridge built by the South, Africa, South Korean Buddhist community. And in the, in the, uh, the Tasara bridge is built by our Japanese Buddhist community. We have a lot of Buddhist things happening in, in future. So therefore, that is the, we are the link for connecting to them. Therefore, I stop here. Thank you very much for coming and participating. And I make the little blessing for all of you to get good health, wealth, and prosperity before I end my <coughs> speech. Sabbhiyo yajjantu sabbaro vinasatu Mate bhavat kantarayo suki digayo kubhava Bhavatu sabbha mangalam rakkantu sabbha devata Sabbha buddhanu bhavena Sada sutti bhavantu te Bhavatu sabbha mangalam rakkantu sabbha devata Sabbha dhammanu bhavena Sada sutti bhavantu te Bhavatu sabbha mangalam rakkantu sabbha devata Sabbha sanganu bhavena Sada sutti bhavantu te Deo asya tu kalena Sasya sampatti he tujya Pito bhavatu lokotra Raja tu dhammiko Ponaku him, the blessed one, the worthy one, the fully enlightened one May all misfortunes be word and of May all I want cease May no calamities befall you May you live alone in peace May all blessing be upon you May all deities protect you By the protective power of all the Buddhas May safety ever be yours by the protective power of all, the Buddha's teaching may safety ever be yours. By the protective power of all, the Buddha's pupils may safety ever be yours. May the rains fall in due season. May there be a rich harvest. May the world prosper. May the ruler be righteous. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you very much.